How's everybody doing? Long time no see. Um, <coughs> thought I'd drop by with a quick little video. Um, as you can see, I have a planner on the table. Um, I don't plan normally. I didn't plan. I used not to plan. Um, well, I kind of did. I always had a calendar that I kept with me. Um, you know, the little pocketbook calendars like you get at the Dollar Tree or whatever. And I always had one of those. I have a wall calendar all the time or a little, like, Dollar Tree desk calendar or whatnot. I always had something on me to keep track of stuff that was coming up. <coughs> Excuse me. So, anyway, um, I had been seeing all the um, planner videos on YouTube, and I kept ignoring them, and finally I saw one with a cover, it wasn't this one, with a cover that was really pretty, and I had seen them, of course, at Michael's, and I didn't really ever stop to look at them, but one day I decided I was going to um, look at a YouTube video, looked at one, looked at another one, looked at another one, it kept going until, well, what do you know? When they had them for half price for a couple of days, I don't know what, I forget when it was, um, in part of July, um, I got one. I mean, there was no way I was going to give $30 for a book. I just was not going to do it. I don't give $30 for books that I read, and I read all the time. So that wasn't going to happen. And yes, before you ask or say something, I am a tightwad, and I will admit it. But, um... Because I figured for 30 bucks, hey, I'll make my own. So, um, when they had them for half price, I said, okay, for 15 bucks, I'll pop for that. So, we'll get into that for a min in a minute. Um, I had a couple of quick things I wanted to share that I had bought. Um, and this is going to be a weird mixture of stuff. Um, if you're like me, you watch, excuse me, videos all the time. <clears throat> excuse me, allergies. So, if I cough, I'm trying not to. There we go. Um, if you watch all different kind of videos like me on YouTube, you watch everything from planners to junk journals, traveler's notebooks, um, different kind of crafts. I also crochet, um, and I watch Dollar Tree hauls. So, um, for those of you that have not seen the newest, excuse me, thing from the Dollar Tree, this is new to me. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the new ones, the new boost scent boosters. The first ones that they came out with went like hotcakes. I actually managed to get one bottle. I found these yesterday. Um, I went up to uh, town right up above us, and their Dollar Tree had some. And they are a citrus scent. They do smell citrusy. Um, as you can see, they're yellow. That is actually yellow. And they do smell citrusy. They smell like a mix of lemon and orange. I think. They smell pretty dadgum good. Um, haven't tried them yet, so we're going to see how well that works. I wanted to pop that out first because I know that there are a lot of ladies, um, at least in the videos that I watch, that do multiple things, multiple hauls, not only craft stuff. They'll have different Dollar Tree items as well. So if you haven't seen these yet, check your Dollar Tree. See if you can find those. Okay, moving on. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby. Me and the husband went to Hobby Lobby. Oh, last weekend, I believe it was. And I got a couple things there. I got a couple things from the Dollar Tree. Um, the first thing, well, let's do, we'll go Dollar Tree first. How about that? Um, let's do Dollar Tree first. The first couple of items, and I know most of these are probably old to most of you, are Dollar Tree. I don't know. It's hit and miss. Sometimes we get cute stuff early sometimes it takes forever and yes these are upside down in the pack because i used some it's the poly sticky notes from the dollar tree that look to me like a rolodex card i think they're cute though but you get 106 of them in a pack they also have some that look like paper clips they're square with paper well rounded corner square with paper clips they have a push pin. There's some other ones that are like, I think, arrows that I saw yesterday. But they're really thin. And for a dollar, um, you know, to me, you can't beat it. Um, just to put on a regular desk calendar or, you know, a regular wall calendar, I think they're like super cute. 
you can see how thin and yes you can write on them but I thought they were super cute for you know, a buck and like I say you get a hundred and six so that's a pretty good deal Jot brand poly sticky notes at the Dollar Tree okay butterfly stickers I am not a huge butterfly <clears throat> excuse me butterfly fan but I thought these were really cute and hopefully you can see well let's try to take them out of the pack right quick they're metallic um kind of a rainbow metallic they're really cute and they are the clear uh shnikes here we go all right here we go that's better they're clear see i think you can see that the metallic shine they're really cute um they seem to be fairly thick they're kind of like uh, rubber like the lace stickers that they have at the Dollar Tree seem like they're made of that same kind of material so those were a dollar oops sorry making y'all dance around making your eyes go wonky okay and I know everybody says at Dollar Tree as well and I know everybody has seen these I did use some of them these are again Jock brand stickers <laughs> upside down don't you love it there's in theory they're planner stickers and yeah i did use some to back do some of this planner but they're huge so i don't know what you know i don't know they're just they're huge you get was it 32 yeah you get 32 in a pack they have like three different color themes so i don't know i don't i don't know i kind of like them um, I think I would actually like them a little better if, um, I had used them like in a composition, composition book planner, maybe that I had made myself, but you get the gist of it here. Um, the, all three themes basically are like the same shapes and things. They're just different colors. One's a purplish color theme. The other one, I have another one somewhere. I can't find it. That's more of a brownish color theme. Um, and they're they're good decent thickness cardstock like stickers so um you know for a dollar they're not bad i love any kind of page tab like that <laughs> any kind of tab i love so i like those as well and like you'll see in a minute i did use some of these um when i first started this planner thing and i'm a rookie um, okay, last Dollar Tree item right quick. If you color like I do at times, this one was adorable. This reminds me of the gray still. It's called Etchings Vintage Style Illustrations. Advanced Coloring. And it's Bendon is the name brand. It says it's made in the USA. I really like this book. I'll give you a quick little peek. Another peek. See, see it's, it reminds me of the gray scale. And I love this. I thought it was really cute. So, um, if you're looking for, by chance, I know some of you color as well. So, if you're, <laughs> look at that. If you're looking for another coloring book, check, <clears throat> excuse me, check these out at the Dollar Tree. They also had one that says, uh, color the 60s. <laughs> and had like, you know, kind of hippie looking things designs in it which was really cute but I love anything that looks like etchings or looks like the gray scale, gray scale sorry because I love that stuff all right so let's move on to Hobby Lobby here um I don't know if this would help if I open this curtain or not I feel like I can't see well um that might make it worse all right this washi tape is duck brand washi I got at uh, Hobby Lobby for a dollar nine is actually kind of a and you might not be able to see it pinkish color it's I don't know how to describe it it's a cross between pink and that might not help might it maybe maybe not um, it's a cross between pink and I don't know what you would call it blush maybe I don't even know where to go with that. Um, that's, I, I don't know how to describe the color. It, it's not, see, it looks like it's faded around the outside edges, so it might be more pink in the middle. 
but the color actually <laughs> the color that it turned has turned out to be has worked pretty good so far um, that came off the clearance rack as did this this is spare parts um, they're little clips um, uh, they were regularly $3.99 I got them for a buck twenty and they're metal clips kind of thin but these will bend you can bend them out but once you bend them out you're not getting them bent back in I can tell you that so if you get these and want to clip them on a page <laughs> tread carefully because if you bend them puppies out yeah you're not getting it bent back in I tried that didn't work too well I finally smashed it enough it actually did like kind of bend back a little bit but two gold two silver two copper I thought they were way cute I don't know how well you can see that. My lighting in here is awful. I'm just saying. If I open that curtain, that doesn't really help a lot. Well, I think you can see better with that closed. There we go. Spare parts. A buck twenty. I thought they were really cute. So, I uh, also and they had um they had some planner stuff for 40% off or 30% off and some was 50% off so I got uh, the first thing I got was the reset girl carpe diem I love this this was regularly $4.99 I want to say these were 40% off but I'm not gonna I think they were 40 they were I think I paid three fifty dollars for them they were 30 or 40% off but I just love these yeah, this is upside down. Hello. <laughs> you didn't see that. Okay. And you can see I've used a few of these. These are adorable. They're retro because I love anything retro. Anything that looks like an old clothing ad or an old sewing pattern. I love these. Um, which way's up? These are long strips, longer strips here and the little like header size here oh I just thought these were so cute and I like these like the reinforcers and then you can use a little dot in the middle as well I, these are just so cute I love the colors because they just it's just so retro looking so you get um, two sheets each you have four designs there you get two sheets of each in the package so I think it tells you probably a total on here. Um, eight four by six sheets. Three hundred and ten total. There we go. Eight four by six sheets, two of each four designs, three hundred and ten stickers. Retail four ninety nine. I paid, I believe, three fifty, because I think these were thirty percent off. At Hobby Lobby, it's the only place I've seen them. I don't know if anybody else carries them. But they're adorable. Next, I got these um, Agenda 52 by the Paper Studio, and I believe. Yeah, let's see. Here's the tag. Here's the ticket. I paid. Oh, let's see. What did I pay for these? I paid. Uh, these were three dollars because these were no. I'm telling you a lie. Um. Let's see, five ninety eight or five ninety nine. Yeah, two dollars and ninety nine cents a piece, and I did pay three forty nine for that other pack. So yeah, these were both half price. Um, Agenda fifty two by the Paper Studio. Um, this is two hundred and twenty five pieces total. You have eight sheets. It says floral, and I think these are so cute. They're like washi tape almost like the textures like kind of like washi tape and I thought these were really cute and I don't know why I'm drawn to this pinky florally kind of thing because I'm not I don't like pink but you know usually I'm not like all about the pink and the I don't know but I just I was really drawn to it and I think these are cute these here so they say like, you know, Monday through Sunday, and then you have Friday. <laughs> I thought that was cute. And then Fun Day, that's cute too. I know, I'm such a dweeb. 
Anywho, I thought some of these were really cute. And for three bucks, I thought, you know, it's a pretty good buy for almost 300, well, 200 and however many stickers it was. I thought it was a pretty good buy for three bucks. So, keep calm and have a plan. I thought they were adorable. So, they, there you, shows you on the back all the designs that you get. See, it says clear, clear, washi, clear, and washi. I think they're super cute. So, say they were three dollars, they were half price. I think all that stuff is 30% off this weekend. Um, and I also got this was also half price Petals and Blooms by the Paper Studio, regular $5.99. I did pay three dollars for it, and there is a total of 339 pieces in this booklet floral planner sticker pack. And it shows you on the back everything that you get. Now, this I thought really was a good deal. For 339 pieces, I paid $3. I could not pass this one up. Um, I do like... I'm not a big gold fan, and that's one thing that I have against a lot of these sticker packs. Like, the Happy Planner packs are gold everywhere. I don't like gold. Not going to lie, I'm not a fan of gold. This is not bad. It's not too much, but I just, I mean, where's my silver? You know, where's my silver? I, I'm not a fan of gold. So, um, but these are really nice, heavy, heavy cardstock-like stickers. They're getting thick. And I thought for $3, these are just adorable. Am I having, having this straight? I, like I said, I thought they were really cute. Like I said, the only thing I don't like is all the gold, but, you know, I can work around that. But, I mean, really, if they had this in a different color, I would have gotten another one as well. Because, you know, there was a Happy Planner set I was looking at yesterday at Michael's, and it was only 400-something pieces, and it was, you know, way more than I'm going to be paying for stickers. I mean, some of those Happy Planner sets are cute, but I'm not popping out 20 bucks for stickers. Yeah, I'm a cheapo. I'm a tightwad. I will readily admit that. But if there's something that I can use in its place, if I can get it cheaper, if there's something I can substitute, something similar, whatever, whatever works for me, I'm going to do it because, you know, I'm just not going to pay that. And I think these are just adorable. And I really, really like the navy, even though I don't, I'm not a big gold fan. It looks really good with this navy, and I love the navy. Now, these I'm not a big fan of in any sticker pack. Um, I use them, but, you know. Anyways, for three bucks, oh, God, these were, I thought these were adorable. And like I say, this week, if I'm not mistaken, the Hobby Lobby sale is 30% off all planner and planner accessories, or planners and planner accessories. So, I thought these were way cute. For three bucks, I couldn't pass it up. They go on sale for half price again. I'm gonna pick up another pack. Okay, so moving on. Let me get this out of the way before I end up throwing it on the floor, which is probably what's gonna end up happening. Um, well, whoops. I know y'all wanted to watch that. Okay, let me throw this in the chair. All right, on to the planner. Um, like I said before in some other videos, I don't plan. Well, I didn't think I planned. Let's put it that way. I actually, I guess, come to find out, did plan. I just didn't call it that. I, but I planned it a different way. Like, you know, I would make out a list the night before. And I usually have done this for a long time. The night before, I'll make out a list of what I need to do the next day. What needs to be paid. What needs to be picked up from the store. What errands need to be run. Whatever. Um, things like laundry and all. No, I don't put that on there because I know i got to do it. Um, but... And like I say, I have always kept a calendar with birth dates, appointments, things like that. But it was just something I threw in my pocketbook or it's hanging on the fridge or the wall. I have one on the wall here and the fridge there. And I would just write this stuff down. Um, and I'm like, and I'm not going to get into this planner thing because, you know, I've migrated from smash scrapbooks to smash books. Smash books to junk journals. Still doing the junk journals, but also traveler's notebooks. Now, oh my, I got a planner. What is wrong with me? Oh, I'm like, I'm not going to plan. 
<laughs> yeah, sure I'm not. I do now. Um, so, if you haven't seen, and if you haven't seen, I, you're probably one of the few people that hasn't seen, a recollections planner from Michaels. I looked at the Happy Planner, and even though it is, I guess, convenient that you can pull the pages out of the Happy Planner, I have never been a fan of the disc-bound books. And those things have been around, like, forever. You know, years and years ago, I remember the disc-bound books. And that's before this whole planner craze thing got going. And I wasn't a fan of the disc-bound books then. <clears throat> and I'm still not now. I do like some of the... Uh, Happy Planner layouts, you know, the way the pages are laid out. But I'm just not, um, I'm not a big fan of the Happy Planner itself. I get, I don't know. Um, to me, it just, you know, it's more money than I'm going to, that I want to lay out on a planner. Personally, and that's just me. Um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> if somebody gave me one, I might change my mind. But, you know, that's what it would take for me to change my mind. Um... That being said, I wasn't going to pull out $30 for a Recollections one either. Um, if if they've had a sale, a half-price sale on the Happy Planner, I have missed it. Because at half-price, I probably would have bought one of those and tried it. But, um, I don't know. I guess I missed that sale. And it seems like when you get a half-price coupon or a 60% off coupon, that kind of stuff's already on sale, so you can't use it any blooming way. Um... And I had missed the first time they had these recollection ones on sale for, I think it was Memorial Day, for like 12 bucks. I wasn't here. I was at the NASCAR race in Charlotte, so there you go. Um, no excuse, I know I was right down the street, you know, 15 miles and I'm there. Um, but I didn't know the sale was going on or I would have just, you know, rode right there to the Michaels in Charlotte and got me one. Um... But I did, when I saw these were on sale for two days for half price, I did pop out the 15 bucks and got me one. It took me an hour, a good hour at least, to decide which one I was going to get. Because I couldn't decide on vertical, horizontal, uh, what was the other one I was looking at? Um, I don't remember. I know I looked at the fitness one, I'm like, no... <clears throat> um, excuse me, I started to get like the recipe. I was like, no, I've got recipe books out the ears. Uh, excuse me. Anyway, I decided on this horizontal one. I like the cover. I thought the cover's really pretty. I like anything that's black with flowers like that. This is, you know, I'm like, yeah, once you actually look at it, it actually does go together. But at first thought, I'm like, what? But... It actually does go together. So anyway, all right. I do like it. The only thing I don't like, and so far I have noticed his a couple of times just for me using it, um, is the cover starts to come off. I mean, yeah, it pops right back on, but it, it, I don't know. I, I guess it's just the way that I'm handling it, that I'm putting it down, whatever. All right. So, let's go through this bad boy and see. Um, I did do a page to a back plan in 2017-2018. It actually, even though it has a 2017 full year calendar, it actually starts in July. Which I got this the end of... Oh, the end of July. The last week of July. I forget. One of the last two weeks of July is when I got it anyway. So, um, and I haven't filled this important dates out yet. Um, I've been scrapbooking forever, junk journaling for a good, or smash booking and slash junk journaling for a good four years or so now. For some reason, I couldn't get, I couldn't get the hang of the whole planner decorating deal. I don't, I don't know what's going on with my mind. So, I had, see, this first one is just like basic, bam. Plain. Plain as all you can get. That's it. The Dollar Tree little stickers here, I'm like, yeah, throw it on the page, I'm good. My main thing was just putting stuff in the book that I needed to remember. Or I wanted to remember to plan out a few things, you know. So, 
that was the extent of the Dollar Tree sticker thing going on. So we get to and see I didn't I didn't do this one. Why I don't know. I had the book. I don't know. I'll I'll probably end up going back and putting something on here just for the heck of it. But this is the first week that I actually threw something in here. And as you can see, oops, here we go again. As you can see, sorry, as you can see, it got actually thrown in the book. Um, see, they're huge. Oh, they're cute, but they're huge. I don't, this one's not so bad, and that one's not so bad, but these are kind of... Anyway, I am glad that I went with the horizontal instead of the vertical. I know the vertical, the monthly calendar itself is different. And the weekly, yeah, you can do the up and down. But, and it's pretty, don't get me wrong, it's pretty. I, some of the layouts some of these girls do, the book is really pretty. But, when I start looking at how many stickers they're having on that weekly vertical thing, you got like, your whole thing is covered with stickers. I mean, yeah, you can still write on top of them, but, you know, a lot of it is like, just boom, cover the whole page in stickers. And if you're new to the whole planner thing and you haven't checked out the planner stickers, them puppies ain't cheap. Especially if you're getting them off of Etsy, which is just redonkulous. No offense to anyone because some of those stickers are gorgeous. I'm not going to lie. They are gorgeous. But I can't justify spending that kind of money per page. I mean, if I bought a set, it would literally last me, like, for months. That's how little I would use it, because that's a lot of money to pop out for, you know, a week. When you look at the vertical layouts, and I see how many stickers they have on some of these, that starts to add up. When some of these sheets are three and four bucks a piece. You know, to me, I don't know. I guess it's because, I, you know, I mean, I don't know. I'm cheap. There we go. <laughs> so, all right. Um, this, again, basic. I just threw some stuff down and called it a day. Oh, now we're getting into a little bit of washi tape. I'm getting creative here. This is, in case you don't rec anybody doesn't recognize this, these are from Recollections at Michael's. Um, and I had these in one of my haul videos. And I just threw a little thing here and there down. I wasn't loving this. I'm trying to cover this up. This is the only thing that I do not like about these planners is all this color. I cannot find my whiteout tape dispensers. I know I have them in that cabinet over there. And if you haven't seen this, you got to check this out. Watch this. All right. Ignore my table. See that cabinet? And ignore my door over there in the dark shadows. See that cabinet? Yeah, that's where all my craft stuff stored at. Well, 98% of it anyway. I might just jack this up. Hopefully not. If you didn't get drunk watching that. <laughs> Hopefully you won't be upside down now. Okay. I need to shut up and go on, Donna. Because this video is way too long already. Okay, so. We've got a little bit of washi tape going on on this one. I will find my white out pen and fix that up this is where i use these little jot dollar tree stickers to cover the date and i actually like this it's basic it's plain i got a little thing here and there bam i really like this i might do another one of these and i didn't have to worry about covering that up so it's it's like scrapbooking or smash booking or junk journaling there's no right or wrong i don't think i think it's whatever you like Whatever makes you happy. You don't even have to decorate these things. If you don't want to. I like to, but, you know, I don't like to go hog wild with it. So, here we go. Um, this is a little decoration here and there. These were from Recollections as well. And I love, I do love these stickers because they have the rose gold accents. It's the gray and the kind of pinkish with the rose gold excuse me, accents. I know this tape doesn't even match, but it was covering up that pink. So, um, but I love that Recollections washi tape. 
I got a whole set of that. Love it. And I, you guys, if you watched one of the other videos, saw that tape in a video. But, so again, we've got a few little decorations here and there. Now, you get to August, I went a little bit different. Bam. I had the unicorn, all that unicorn stuff that I got from Michael's on clearance. Um, went on to the first month. I said, okay, we're going to really do something different here and decorate it up a little bit more. So that's what all of these came from was the, um, I think it's called Enchanted line from Recollections at Michael's and that's where the washi tape came from. All the stickers here, the little unicorn there. Um, I really like this. <laughs> I really, I really like the way this came out. Um, I like the red sparkly washi tape over here. So that's one of these clips that I had there. Um, but I really like this. It's It's got a little something something here and there, but it's not, boom, everywhere. And for the weekly, that's the first weekly that I really did a lot more decorating on. And I really liked the way it came out. You know, you had the little corners, like the little photo corners there. And, and I really liked the way this came out. It's it's got some, but it's not too much. It's more than the other. And I'm rambling, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Um, but I like this. I'm like, I'm getting there. I'm starting to get there. Doing the horizontal is way different from doing the vertical. But I like the horizontal because I have more room to write things in. You know, if I've forgotten to add something or if I need to go back and add something, um later just for remembering certain things that happened on certain days okay uh this is mainly what came out of the back of this planner and if you haven't seen what comes in the back of this planner i'll show you what it comes with these stickers plain doctor appointment vacation appointment happy birthday it's like the little headers you get one of those, and you get a sheet of these, which is really cute. And then, too, I liked the color on these better than I did in some of the other books. They had um, that pink and kind of a mint green color. I don't know. It wasn't floating my boat. So, I liked these, and then you get a sheet of these. And I think those are really pretty. I like the, the flowers and all. I like the colors. Um, and then, of course, you get these. So you do get four sheets of stickers with these planners, which I like. And that's where most of these came from. The washi tapes are, I know that's Recollections. I'm not sure about that. I think this one is too, actually. Um, these little thin washies, well, I'm not sure. I think this one is from, I don't remember. I know this one here is a Dollar Tree washi. Anyway, um, I've got little pieces from different things here. From this book, from the Recollections little sets, like was on the other page. You know, I'm starting to get... A little bit of the whole decorating thing. I don't know. I, I, it's just going to come to me. This one is this current week's. Um, this is from that set from uh, Hobby Lobby. The Carpe Diem. Um, I do like this. This tape is fabric washi from Michaels. It's the Recollections brand. It's fabric. Which I thought went with this. So that's why that got to cover some of that up. Um... Actually, the green underneath it is uh, Recollections as well. Green plaid, which is real pale like that. But I like, I'm liking this. I like, I do like um, the big, like I say, horizontal book where I can put things in. Um, I have more room to write. You know, the vertical is pretty. It's nice, but I, I don't know. I felt like I was going to get cramped up with that. Um, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Um, and this is plain, so you can see the colors on these. That's Like I said, that's the only thing I don't like. I don't like this. Um, I did see, and I don't remember what video it was. There were a couple of videos on YouTube I saw where they covered this up with the whiteout tape. And I will get my whiteout tape out. I'll hunt that down later and get that out. Because um, I like that idea of using that to cover that up with. Um, because you can cover this up with just about anything. Or you can actually match it, believe it or not, with just about anything. It doesn't look like it, but it'll actually work. So you get, this is your horizontal pages. 
Um, that is kind of wigging me out. I don't know why they did that. I don't know. I don't know why it's green, part green, part pink. I'm just going to roll with that. Um, you have, at the end of each month, you have this notes page, and then you have your divider page, which, you know, they all look the same. These are just plain pink. I didn't look to see if that was, yeah, that's all the same. Um, each month has a different, now see, this was a cover on one of the planners they had up there. But all your months are identical. You have the notes page at the end of each one. All the months look identical. See, now this one again. Except the pink, it's got that, I don't know what's going on with this. Anyway, it's got that kind of washed out salmon color. Um, I do wish that they would have used a different color. You know, I wish that actually they would have used like a gray or a black even than the pink and the greenish blue color. Um, it made it a whole lot easier to match things up, but... Um, like I say, I'm glad that I got the horizontal one. And this, that was also the cover of one of their uh, planners. But it was a holographic. It was really cute. I started to get that one, actually. Um, I'm going to change my mind. You have got this. I think that's cute. They, like I said, these are really cute. I, I do like the month at a glance here because the boxes are plenty big enough for me to put basically what I need in. You've got the note section over here. Anything I really needed to add, I can put at the note section at the end of the month back here, which I probably would never use. But, uh, like I say, I like these. And here at the back, you've got a really big section, which starts right there, of notes. Of just plain notes pages. Which is cute. you got the lined here. You have the grid here. So if you want to decorate it up, you can. And then it goes into plain pages here, which I think is kind of cool. And then there's your stickers. And then you have this pocket here. And I saw a really cute idea. Um, and I'm going to try it. This hole on the inside and everything. See, that's lined. I don't know. You probably can't see that. But you might be able to see it. It's lined on the inside, just like it is here. Someone had cut this right here and just left it so it would fold over here and then you could fold it out and use all this it's where they were storing their um, sticky notes and I thought that's a brilliant idea I do not remember who it was that did that or I would credit them with that idea but um, I think I'm going to do that I think I'm going to do that I think I'm going to open that up there's no pocket if you open this up here it's just lined on the inside but that would be a good idea to store sticky notes and whatnot and I, I don't know I might I might not we're gonna we're gonna wait and see on that so um, and then you do get the little pocket the little clear pocket which is cool I like that um, and then there's your back and that's what the recollections book looks like um, like I said I really like it I'm really glad I went with the horizontal would I buy a vertical yeah, I would. If I could get one on sale, I would. Um, I would definitely try one out. Um, but I think they're cute. Um, like I say, I didn't plan. Well, I didn't plan like this. I do plan, but... And did all along, I guess. I just didn't realize I did it. Um, this is the only thing that's bugging me, is that it keeps twisting. But, you know, I can deal with that. Like I said, the covers are good and sturdy. If you buy more than one planner, you can pop, these will pop off, you know, and you just pop it back on. Um, they have little accessory kits I saw yesterday that have little, like, bookmarks you can stick in there. And then they have stencils that have this same thing here, so you can just pop them off and on. And they're really cute. But, uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, just thought I would pop in right quick, share this with you. Um, let me know. Um... If you plan, I would love to see your planner. How you plan, you do vertical, you do horizontal, what kind of planner you use, you know, what you prefer. Planner stickers, that's a huge thing. I would love to hear what kind you use, where you get them. Um, 
anybody know a place to get great deals on them i'm up for suggestions because you know right now it's just what i can find on sale um <laughs> unless somebody knows it's a great place i can get some really cheap um so all right i've been gabbing way too long this thing is at 40 minutes i may have to edit some of this mess out um again for all my subscribers Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. If you have not hit that button down below, I would really appreciate hitting subscribe. I always sub back. I am going to try. I was going to try to do a giveaway at 100 subscribers, but I'm going to try to hold out to 150. Um, I don't know how many people actually are watching this. I don't really get um, comments much. I don't really get um, feedback. And I would love some. So, um, if you want to take a second, give it a like. Give me a comment. Let me know what you do, how you plan. Just share. Share stuff. And also, there's a link to my blog. I finally posted another blog post. I will put a link to this video up on there. Um, share. Share. I, I like to have people to share things with. To, to talk planning. To talk crafting. Um, and it doesn't have to be just plenty. It could be anything. Any craft that you guys do. I don't know how to knit, so I might be a little bit lost with that one. But anything else is basically fair game. So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for staying with me. Till next time, have a great one. See everybody later. Bye.